It's about two weeks before the 2023 Isle of Man TT and we're about 50 metres from Sulby Strait next to what I've just learned is the Sulby River. And we borrowed a couple of trials bikes from Dew and Knight. So while we're here, we thought we'd have a catch up with two of the paddock's favourite characters. So we're here with Dean Harrison and Lee Johnston. So what, what, like, why, why have you brought us here? You both like trials riding. Is that, what, is that, is well, that why we're here? I, well, it's something that we're equally not good at. Yeah, say that, is that the right word? And we're going to be really upset if you are. Yeah, well, I can... Yeah, I can, to be fair, I, it's the most alien bike you'll ride as a trials bike, and I said, it's not yeah. a... It's not like an Enduro or road bikes all. Not having no seat probably gives yeah. it away a bit. Do you ride trials bikes for the fitness, for the technique, to, to train? Yeah, for the fitness. Yeah. You, you probably do more I, trials yeah. than me. Obviously, I'm I'm quite a quiet person, so I do it for the social aspect <laughs> of uh, being able to talk. There's not many bikes where, like, when you're racing, you can't just pull up beside your mate, slag him to death and go, <laughs> you can't do that, do you know what I mean? Whereas on trails, you can... Shout as much abuse yeah. as you want. But it's got, and an, open, then it's got an open face helmet for yeah. a start, so you can see first lips presence. Yeah. yeah. It's just a good laugh, and you're getting. Like, training's hard as it is, do you know what I mean? So if you can do something that you actually enjoy, that's benefiting you yeah. as well, well then, why not? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's enough sitting in a gym and doing these things that you have to do sometimes is not fun, do no. you know? But yeah, going out with your mates on a trails bike, slagging somebody to death, and then maybe doing something good once every 50 attempts is like, it's a good day out, isn't it? So, forgetting about trials riding then, when, when did you boys both start racing? I mean, you, you, you both been, I know you've both been at a, a, a decent level Whoa, time. whoa, whoa. whoa. Eight, I started yeah. at eight, uh, 18, 19 I started racing. Oh, did you? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that's quite old then, isn't it? Yeah, what well, yeah. Compared to you, anyway. Yeah, when did you start? Oh, but I'm obviously loads, I'm three weeks younger than Dean. Are you really? <laughs> Lo loads younger, yeah. yeah. Just to get that out there straight away, I'm three weeks younger than Dean. Um, yeah, but we've had completely different like careers, but we nearly started road racing at the same time, yeah. like at the North, yeah. at the Ulster Grand Prix and stuff. We were newcomers at the same time and yeah. So, but like before that, it was completely, like I was doing British Championship and stuff. Well, I didn't, I didn't do the British Championships that I rode for, which was Silicon Now Dow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that was sort of my introduction to short circuit racing. Uh, but I do I enjoy it. It's a bit different, but not with the route I went down to start with. Yeah. Why do you do it? Like, what's what's so good about it? What racing motorbikes? Yeah. Well, why do you race at the TT when you can go? You could go racing. You know, you're both good enough riders to race in the British Championship. You both have reasonable amount of success when you race on short circuits. Why ain't that enough? Why do you want to come here? Uh, I, I I came probably here first. Yeah. I were at the TT before I did British Championship. So to, to me. This is the only the only reason I started racing was to race the TT. Yeah. So uh, everything else sort of fits in around it. <laughs> right. So BSB is just the means to an end. Yeah. No. No. You can't. I can't knock BSB at all. So I, I do actually really enjoy it. Some days you have bad days. You get frustrated, but it's like the same at here as well. But no. I can't. <laughs> I can't knock the BSB championship. I think it's brilliant. Format of racing. Obviously, it's totally, It's just a different. It's a different way of racing almost. Yeah. But it's got its pros and its cons and things like that. Yeah, I sort of wish, in one sense, that I didn't like doing this so much. Do you know what I mean? Like I could, I, when I stop racing, I'll be fit to stop doing British Championship, and that won't really bother me. Yeah. But stop, what the feeling you get at the Northwest or the TT or the Ulster Grand Prix, you, like, even for so like, say when we go to the TT, right? You can't, your mate can't turn around and go, oh, next week I'm going to book a track day and I'm going to ride. You can't. You know what I mean? You can suit. You can go and climb Mount Everest, but you can't come yeah. and ride around the TT. Yeah. And I think a little bit of it is, well, you can't do it, but I can't, so then you're even more, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's a little bit of that, but the feeling, yeah, you, you, it's like nothing else. It's, it's like, you know, yeah, you can. The thing is that you know yourself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you've, you've been here, done it, and you've had, you've yeah, had success, and you've had bad days, you know what I mean? Look, look, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I've had bad days. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, exactly, but, but you, you why, did you, you like, why did you do it? The, yeah, the, the first time I did it, I did it because I wanted to be part of something massive. I wanted to race in the event that everyone's heard of. Thought it seemed really, really cool. Yeah. The second time I did it was because of how good it was the first yeah. time. Yeah, you can, it, that's yeah. how it gets you and it makes you want to come back. Yeah. Exactly it's the same. But yeah. you like I say to people all the time and I, you know, I never want to run British Championship down, but sometimes you go to like Silverstone Short Track or whatever, 
you do a lot of laps and you go, I'm looking for a tenth, I'm looking for two tenths, and you just go, oh, I'm sick of yeah, riding yeah. round. Yeah. I mean, I said you that. You will yeah. never ever come here and go, I am sick, sick of riding no, no. round. Do you know what I mean? Because you're always finding something new. There's a new bump, a new yeah, curb, yeah. a new drain, a new yeah. white well, every line, you come back, everything. It's different. Yeah. Every year you come back, like look, at the, they've checked trees down, areas change, yeah. and you're constantly adapting. Let's say you go somewhere like Silverstone, the, the little national track we do, and by the time you've got to Sunday, you're dizzy. Yeah. No. You're going round and round and round. Same track. It's like I've 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 had, I've had enough now. Yeah. You know sounding I mean? like we're slagging off short circuit racing, but we're not. But no, not no. Well, you go to Alton Park. I don't get bored around on Alton yeah. Park. Total different kettle of yeah. fish. Yeah. Or like go to Brands GP, another brilliant track. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You yeah. can ride. By the time we get to Sunday, you still enjoy riding round. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I mean, there's there's tons of road races. Some in Europe, loads in Ireland, didn't they? Obviously, the Northwest Tour is a big one. What's <laughs> so special about this? It, it's got everything, hasn't it? Look how long the track is. Number one length. Uh, location, yeah. where, a lovely place to be in the Isle yeah. of Man, where, and it's like, and I, I love it over here. Uh, and just, there's no, the, the whole track layout. Where can you go race through villages, towns, mountains, all in one lap? Yeah, and, and like, like he's just said, so Silverstone's one type of track, yeah. Alton's a type of track, Thruxton's another type of track. Yeah. You come here, you've got smooth bits, fast bits, slow bits, bumpy bits, yeah. jumps. Flat, but you know, you have off camber, on camber, absolutely everything you can think about. Bits that you don't like, but you have to get over. Bits you really yeah. like, but you have to control yourself to not push yeah. more. Yeah, you get favourite sections, yeah. favourite bits of the track, bits like you just said, you get to like, oh, you just try and get through best yeah. you can. Yeah. How, how would you explain this as an event to someone who, who, not particularly interested in in bike racing, <clears throat> doesn't know anything about the TT? How, what would you, how, how would you, how would you explain what this is? Uh, do you know what? It's probably one of the most difficult things. People say it to you regular. What was it like? You're like, mate, you, you struggle to explain how, what the whole atmosphere and the event's about and what it is. You've yeah. just got to say to people, mate, you have to go watch. Yeah. Once you've been, then you can then appreciate yourself and then you can do the explaining to the next person. Because I struggle to explain yeah. it because it is that. I don't think I've ever, you know the way like different people are into different sports. Like I like going to watch football and stuff sometimes, but certain people could go to that and go, Nah, it is. But in, unless they're, you're broken, you could not come here and some scale go, whoa, it's, it's either mental, unbelievable, or like, but you might not think it's right what's happening, yeah. but you can't not go, this is unbelievable, which is, yeah. it's wor that word's used a little bit too much yeah. nowadays, but there's few <laughs> things like, if you go and watch, someone like Tony Bow or whatever do oh, a yeah. certain thing yeah. and you yeah. think that is genuinely he got yeah. from there to there that is unbelievable do you know what I mean and I think when people come to the TT that is a similar yeah to be to be two foot away from a bike doing 200 miles an hour yeah. flat out yeah where are you gonna do that yeah that's it's pretty unbelievable isn't it yeah so how much do you miss it when you're at home you get like a, you have to wait a year for each one uh, you think about it a lot uh, yeah, you do it like when uh, when you're here, you're like you're in you, because the the level that we're riding at now, and you're that engrossed in it when you're here, it almost takes over your everything, yeah. every little living, breathing minute of the day when you are here. And then <laughs> when it's when it, the whole fortnight's finished, you almost feel like a bit of a sigh of relief oh, to a yeah. certain extent. You're like yeah. oh, a bit of a, and then you're yeah, like, all right, I can, I can, that one. yeah, and I can well, relax a little empty, bit. You're empty like two or three weeks oh, after the hard. TT. You yeah. literally what? Sometimes I don't, I might not leave the house for three days after. You just think there's that much. Yeah noise and people and yeah, people yeah. wanting you and all in a good way because yeah. it's, especially if you've done well do you know what i mean yeah. it's a good thing then because you if you do well you've got a year of people patting you on the back if you do bad you've got a year of telling you <laughs> yeah, yeah. you've had a, so it's yeah, like yeah. it's a massive double-edged sword yeah. in that sense so but yeah it's a long year when you're waiting to get sure to get yeah. back. it takes a year to prep again for it <laughs> yeah. that much goes into it yeah Speaking of prepping, uh, a bit of a bit of a mix-up for you this year on the 600s. Yeah. What, what you what what are your thoughts there? Uh, no, it was a, a team decision. Uh, Dow didn't want to run a 600 no more. Uh, I found out at Thruxton last year, I think they told me. So I thought, right. So this is you need to go find your own ride. So I did do. Uh, and the R6, uh, uh, the Russell Racing bike came available. I says, right, job's done. We'll ride that. Went to do a test and then. Yeah. That will go from there, really. Have you done many laps on it already? Or? Uh, I've, I've been to Spain three days on it, and then I'm believe it, in Kirkustown on Thursday, Friday next week. Right. So yeah. that'll be the first time on it. Now we've got a new auto blip thing and stuff, so think, I'm looking forward to it. Think it'll be competitive? Yeah, 
Yeah, the R6 on Lee's rides when everyone knows how good they are. The ZX6 were a good bike, I were competitive on that bike. Yeah. Uh, hopefully the, the R6 I'll be I'll suit it and I'll get well not that so I'll suit it, I'll just I'll get on, I'll adapt to it quickly almost. Yeah. I've rode the Kawasaki for so long. It's yeah. almost like when you put an old pair of shoes on. Yeah. You just yeah. you're so used to what it does and you expect it, whereas the R6 is gonna be new to me, so yeah. I'm looking forward. What about you then? You you you're coming off the back of a bit of success at BSB just the other week. Yeah. I, I, can you can you take that to the TT and roll no, with it? People think? say that was so. I'm like pretty straight talking, and it's just like being good at trials and then going to doing a world enduro around. And they're like they're like it's a completely different <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, w I wish sometimes I was a bit little bit more in me that would go. Oh yeah, this is I'm I'm. Fast now, do you know what I mean? This you're is going to be easy. You know? the, I, I know that, but it is. It's a different. I'm realistic. It's a different thing. Sure. I'm racing against different people in a completely different. Sometimes when you have a really good Northwest, you think, "Oh, this is okay," because it's the same people on the road. It's a different yeah. to the TT, but yeah. it's a lot closer than yeah. Yeah, yeah, riding around yeah. Silverstone yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So, and yeah. it's usually only a couple of weeks before. Yeah, so it's it's normally a good. Um, just you don't want to use up all your good luck at the Northwest either. Yeah. You want to save a little <laughs> bit for getting to getting to the TT but yeah I think things are good same team good people around me and and just sort of trying to build on we've changed the big bikes for this year which is I think a good step for me uh, the bikes a bit smaller and stuff but um, yeah I feel in a good place feel Sweet. fit and healthy and stuff so yeah that's half the battle amazing anyway I think that's enough chatting don't you should we go and ride some bikes before we get piles from sitting on these wet rocks <laughs> I'm absolutely goosed, boys. Yeah. Yeah, I can't ride anymore. You've worn me out. Should we go and have a beer instead? Yeah. We've got about two weeks left till the Alaman TT. Best of luck, boys. Thank I'm, you uh, I'll, be, uh, I'll be cheering for you from the sidelines. You can only pick one, though, so who are you going to be cheering for? <laughs> I, like, I like you both. That's a lie. <laughs> I like neither of you. <laughs>